I'm here with Director of Engineering Services, Jonathan Bramley. I'm Joan Goldberg, and we are in the North Clematis Street Arcades where the trellises are being built. This is about the only time that you'll see Jonathan and I approximately the same height, because currently he's sitting in one of the footers that the braces for the trellis arcade stand in. I'm standing at the very southern end of a upland beach. Yes, we're putting the beach into West Palm Beach for the first time, uh, replete with uh, coconut palms, dune grasses, benches, plenty of shade to sit and enjoy our waterfront right at the foot of the middle dock. That is our big pedestrian dock that has the ecosystems embedded into it. Jonathan, the edge of this beach is coming in uh, really nicely. I see we've already started with the footers for a beautiful vine-covered trellis that's going to be uh, in this area. We have Ipe wood decking, and one of the really nice things I'm beginning to see is they're laying out the plant material today uh, from dune uh, grasses to other type of uh, plants that are very common to our beach environment in South Florida. And Although we're almost 100% planted out with our trees, ground cover, etc., it's important to realize that even in such area, there is a huge amount of infrastructure that goes underground. Uh, Jonathan's about to explain to us uh, the last bit that we can see before it is sealed up and put into the earth. Jonathan, what do we have here? We have a number of different uh, infrastructure elements that are basically hidden from view for those folks who walk in the waterfront on a day-to-day -day basis. Down here we have uh, the newly installed benches. This, this great conduit will be the, the um, make a connection to some LED lights that will provide underlight into the, to the, to the benches um, as the project comes, comes to be finished. Um, over here by the light pole we have a pull box which is the central hub for all the main wires throughout the project that run up and down Flagler Drive. We have uh, a number of different wires which is a reflection of the number of different circuits that are all housed here inside the project. Um, some, of these, some of these lines will provide power for event uh, purposes when we have Sunfest or the boat show. Um, present on Flagler Drive and others of them provide power for the irrigation system and other wires will provide power for the the street lighting whether it be the pedestrian lighting right here or the the Flagler Drive street lighting. This is the very very beginning stage of installing our huge stadium lights they're going to be 50 feet tall and they're holding a programmable light show that will light up the night and the great lawn every evening in the city commons uh, this is the frame that will be the foundation for it jonathan tell us a little bit about this framework and what are the first steps including uh, the conduit that goes in here and by the way our entire wi-fi system will be running through these foundations as well as you know in south florida we're subject to extremely high wind conditions so anytime we build any structure that sticks above the ground we have to accommodate those high wind conditions such that uh, the facility won't blow over. The, the reinforcement steel you see in front of you is the, um, the reinforcement for the, the concrete foundation. Everything up to this plate will be buried in the ground and poured in concrete and that will provide the weight and the, the, the structure to prevent the, the uh, light tower from falling over in the event of a, a high wind condition. Behind me you see some wood pilings out in the intercoastal. That is the first stage of the South Cove restoration project, which is about putting tidal islands into the South Cove to help cleanse the water. This first stage, uh, these pilings are to hold what's called turbidity barriers, that as they begin filling in the hole, the particulate matter will not come up and spread out throughout the intercoastal, but will remain settled and eventually capped. I'm sitting here at Fern Street 
on the seawall off of Flagler Drive. For me, this is a, a very important spot because we've been able to collect pictures beginning in 1885 so we could understand the water's edge over the uh, last 100 plus years. Taking a look at what was here originally and how we could combine that to create today's new waterfront in 2009 was very important to our team of designers.